Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Coffee and Cannoli podcast. Joined once again by these two. We got the Putty Man and we got Campo Reviews. This over here? Okay. I know you're there. there. I'm right over here. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. I don't know. Down with Enjoy this. Enjoy this. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this episode, it's all about um, the last generation of gaming consoles and arguably the console that probably had hands down the best exclusives, basically sold the system, the PS4. Um, there were so many great exclusive games that came out for this system. So we are going to be running down some of our favorite games from the PS4. And uh, with that out of the way, this time I'm going to start because I'm on the bottom and it's time. my show. And it's the my show. So I, it's, hey, you know, I, yeah. I, I call the rules. Um, and I think I went full on uh, caps with this one because I got three games at the number five. And it's Yakuza 0, Yakuza 6, and Judgment, which is part of the Yakuza series. I've never played them, but yeah, that makes sense. Campo. I'm next. You're number, yeah, you're number five today. Uh, okay, uh, I got a tie here. It's uh, well, it's I don't know. I just put the other one just to be there. I have Doom and Doom Eternal. Um, it's I, I mostly had I played Doom a lot when Doom came out. It was like we were streaming it and everything because back then we had the stream team. It was way different than it is now. Like we always grouped up with the same people and stream. And Doom was one of the games. Excellent game. Excellent single player, excellent multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. The, do that. The first Doom really revitalized the franchise. Really, I played that a lot it, on the. It PC. was a well needed FPS. We, yeah. well, I'm tired of all the Call of Duty. Yeah, something different. Duty. Something different. Putty, Duty. what do you got for your number five? Right, Call of well, Duty. Uh, number five. I just, okay. First and foremost, like I said, I'm going to say is I did all exclusives only because I started my career on this console. Literally, my career. On yeah, YouTube. I think all mine are all exclusives too. And yeah. so what I did was like stuff like Fortnite and everything. I put all that kind of stuff on mentions. All these literally only came on PS4, and that is or they came on your five. PS4. I did. That, that one they had five too. <laughs> That's anyway. why it's white now. Yeah. But anyway, number five is. <laughs> Good thing I'm not long. monetized. <laughs> Wait, did I just say? <laughs> I hope your mom yeah. watches this. <laughs> yes, she does. She won't understand. Okay, my apologies. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, my number five is Until Dawn. Oh, I forgot about that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, my number four is The Ghost of Tsushima and Horizon Zero Dawn. Caps at number four. I, I, I'm mad at myself for not playing Horizon Zero Dawn yet, but and I own it too because I got it for free. Yeah, okay. your number four. Uh, my number four is uh, caps. Uh, so this is going to be a caps list. Uh, Arkham Knight and Spider Man from Insomnia. Bitter man. My number four is Infamous Second Son. I didn't count the other Infamous because I played those on uh, three. Mm -hmm. My number three is Uncharted Four and Persona Five Royal. All right, my number. I'm on three, mm, two. No, no. no you th th three because I haven't gotten to my three yet. You just you did never, your... JD. You started. You started. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, three. yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. So, I never go first. Uh, now I'm all confused. Exactly why? Yeah, I'm why still thinking about you coming on your PS4. So I mean, we're in a we're in a weird <laughs> uh, place here. For this is games like that I played on this system. That's always how we do this. Yeah. So my number three is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. A lot of the games you mentioned, I've played all on PC, so I can't really. Yeah. Well, I got a bunch of those. Like, I got stuff that all in on mentions. Anyway, uh, number three for me is actually your number three, JD. It's uh, Uncharted 4, Thieves In. Nice, nice. Good call. Good call. Um, my number two is the Insomniac Spider Man series, the whole thing. All the DLC, Miles Morales, everything. I can't count Miles Morales because I played on something else. <laughs> PS5. Yeah, it's one thing. Yeah, I don't own a PS5. So whose turn is it? It's, it's your. Yours. It's yours. Oh. Number two. Uh, my number two is Uncharted Four and the expansion for it. Lo I think it's called Lost Legacy. I kind of yeah. counted all that anyway, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, That's Lost Legacy was really good and underrated. And didn't get enough love. Well, it came with. It was part like it's an expansion of the game. Technically. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, my number two. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, My number two is God of War. Funny enough, because God of War is my number one. All right. And my number one is Persona 5 Royal. I'm not angry at that. And my number one is Cat. Because I knew you guys wouldn't count my second one for this. My number one cap started off as Marvel Spider-Man is my number one. And you're going to kill me, P.T. It's not even a game. It's not even a game. That's why it's it's called playable trailer. Okay, okay, fine. You guys can't. No, that's not allowed on the list. Damn it. All right. Well, Marvel Spider-Man. That's why I can't. This is the first time in list history that we've not allowing. Yes. Strike P.T. from the record because it's not a game. We will let you talk about it, though. Yes. Yeah. You can I, I talk guess, about I, it. I love it so much. I had to put it there. Even that's why I capped it because Marvel Spider Man, I played so much of it. And All I right. figured I'm throwing PT on there and they don't allow it. At least Marvel Spider Man. Hey, Spider-Man at least you there. said it. That's good yeah. enough. You knew it. We weren't going to allow that. I knew it, I but I had to say one. it. I, I can't know what my it. favorite movie is. It's the trailer for Spider Man No Way Home. <laughs> <laughs> but it's playable movie, just and nothing else exists it's not like the silent hills exist it's the only thing that exists in that world that's why i had to put it there you know what i mean you know what and, yeah, and my favorite game is the tales of arise demo well, I, I mean, mean <laughs> that's a good demo i mean it's not like this was actually going to become a game it's its own actually i game. just want to say this if, I, if we're allowed to add things on this list, my favorite thing is Demo Disc 50 from PlayStation Magazine. Screw you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was that the one, that, was that, the one that deleted all your save files on your... <laughs> it's the one that I'm thrasher. I can't wait till Nikki. <laughs> Nikki's going to dog me when he sees this video. He's going to be like, I knew you'd put it there. Uh, I fucking had a reason. We all knew it was coming because you yeah. set yourself up for it. I had to. I'm sorry. Can I tell I you it's not thing. even that great of a demo? I don't... You yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it. for a demo, it's pretty good. Uh, but Persona 5, my number yes. one. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. If you, if you look it up it, on why. almost all ratings websites, it's in like the top four games. It's not even of top all five for, for PS4. Yeah, uh, it, it is. And for some reason, we all left it off our list. It's not on my honorable mention list. I'm sure it's not on yours, Campo. I don't know about you, Putty, but none of us are putting The Last of Us 2. I are never we? got to play. I never played one or two, so I can't say anything. I think it's, I don't know why it's number one on all the lists. I didn't like it. Okay, I just didn't. Not, listen, it's regardless of liking it or not, I don't think it's as good of a game as the first one from everything. The first I've one was seen, so much better. From like, I watched playthroughs. So, and I've seen my brother play and my friends talk about it. Nobody really hates the game, but it's just not as good as the no. first one. But my thing is, it gets too much love. Ghosts of Sushi should have won game yes. of the year. I oh have my no god! Idea, just on the visuals alone, it's I'm playing that game now. Game. I on my I have a I don't have a PS5, I have a PS4 Pro, but like I'm playing it right now, and oh my god, like it's it's Assassin's Creed done right. If you and really it think looks, of- it's so good looking that there's no words to describe it. Yeah, it's uh, I'm I'm uh, like I mean I'm playing it right now, but if it ever comes out on yeah. PC, because a lot of the P, uh, PS4 exclusives are coming out on PC, I am snatching that up. Like, well, it's there, it's in a place visually, it's in a special place with that and bug snacks and bug uh, snacks. Bug snacks looks amazing. I just gotta put actually that played it, but I, I I got bored quickly of it. I I played. I like never played bug games. snacks. Um, um, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say here's my thing. Um. Uh, there's only two more exclusives I put on my list. I put those on the top, and then everything else is like available on other consoles. Um, so the two that were less left that I liked, but I didn't. So for example, Dreams is a great game that you, it's, it's an open world kind of source kind of game. It's a great game that Nikki introduced me to, and I'm glad I did. And then this one doesn't get love because the multiplayer sucks, but I did like the campaign, and that's Killzone Shadowfall. A lot of people didn't like it. I still loved it. I just felt there's a lot the multiple. I haven't lacking. played a kill zone since like PS2. That's dude, what I'm yeah. saying though. The kill zones on PS3 I loved and I played the multiplayer a lot, but then the multiplayer on this one did not feel like the ones like on kill zone, the last uh, kill zone on, on PS3. So I had to put that on my honorable mentions for sure. But then at this point, every game on my honorable mention is literally games you could play on the Xbox or other consoles. Okay, yeah. well, let's uh can I say one? No, go ahead. Sure. I Can I tell you my honorable honorable mention? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. The mother freaking Tony Hawk remake one and two. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. That, that I never played it on the PlayStation, but I play. I'm. Pl- oh, I play dude. it on the. I play it on the PC. Me, it me was and Nikki, so epic. Yeah, me and we all jump back. And on. three That's and four are list. coming out now too. Yeah, I know. I can't yeah. wait, bro. I can't wait. Yeah. So, so yeah, that was on my list and everything, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Kind of yeah, episode. Tony Hawk was definitely on my list. Uh, 
uh, the the other Quantic Dreams game there, um, the David Cage one, uh, Detroit Become Human. I never played it. No, it it I seemed either. I understand that it has like a really crazy story, but I watched PewDiePie, I think, play it or one of those guys, and it's so slow. Like it's just like story, 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 yeah, story, it's, story. It's very much like it's the in that vein of heavy rain, beyond two souls. Yeah, it's just like, you're just watching a movie that you happen to it's, be like. It's more of a visual sometimes. novel. That's why yeah. it didn't make my top five. It's more of like But it is beautiful. Like it looks fantastic. Yeah. And the story is really cool. Yeah. Um, and you don't have that guy yelling at the beginning of the game, Jason, Jason. I, I, I cheated by watching play. <laughs> I, I never played it, but, but I But the thing is, the there's story. so many branching paths yeah. in that game. That no playthrough can. It, hey, like, that's almost, true. That's like true. you, you are going to get snippets of similar things, but everybody's going to have a different experience playing this game. It's a that, massive that's, game. That, that's a good. That's a good way to put. It, I just realized it's an experience more than a game. Uh-huh. And Clancy Brown, you know, Mister Krabs oh, is. Oh, the okay, game. here I'll name one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Hmm. Okay. fantastic game i did not play it on the ps4 but yes it's a fantastic and game it's funny outside of the, one of the games you guys mentioned that i took off my list everything else on my list i have playing you guys did not really pass as much as i was so it's gonna be pretty quick ps4 this was a weird generation of systems where towards the end of the life of ps4 i started getting back into gaming mm-hmm. um because i would say through the the generation of xbox one and ps4 i did play games but i never ever finished games I would constantly play a game for like two days, three days, and then I would never finish the game. It's funny, the, the opposite for me. When I when I when I got my PS4 and I realized that I can record and upload to YouTube, I was playing everything I could before I, it was entered into the Fortnite world, and then the Fortnite became my life because I was making money. So I was literally just churning out videos for every game that I loved, and that's what my list is basically about. Is all those games I recorded, all the way from like fighting shooters and even to like the. Uh, the games that were, I called the indie games that you get really cheap on the store that I was literally having to make videos with some of my friends on my YouTube channel just because I wanted to put content. So that's the reason why I said I, I'm trying to, I don't want to over exaggerate or put too much on there, but I've got a lot that I had and I can't wait to go through it. So yeah, like Super Meat Boy. I've actually I played that on the Xbox. That's literally, that's literally on my list. And I was going to bring it up that because I, I was going to call it the indie era. Fez, no. Super Meat Boy. And the Binding of Isaac. I'll take them off right now. Those what three, remains of Edith Finch? Oh, that's I didn't get to one. play that, though. Oh, unfortunately. And Gone Q. Home is another really... All right, I'll drop one here that JD is going to like. Uh, because it was, like, both the one of the best and worst experiences I've had. It's F1 2017. Um, such an amazing game. But it's so, yes. so, 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 so hard to play. You that, like, need to be an to F1 myself. driver in order to play that game. Like, it feels like you need to be an it's F1 so driver. It's so hard to turn. Like, and I don't like putting assisting things on. At one no. point, it got to, I had to put it on, and it still was not helping me. I was still smashing into every wall. You yeah. take damage so easily. It's it's yeah. crazy. It's such a hard, hard, like, so well when made. they say it's a racing simulator, it literally, like, that's what, the actual F1 drivers practice on is the actual game because they say it's that realistic. The, yeah. the, the, and that's the, the best one. 2017 15, is the best one. Yeah. And 2020 is good too. Yeah. Shout out to Max Verstappen, <laughs> F1 champ. <laughs> but yeah, F1 2017. Um, if you're playing an F1 game, you need to play with the full LG steering set. You need the wheel. You need the pedals. That's the only way you'll be able to master that game. You need the actual racing rig. Well, I can't afford it, so I will no, not buy it. I don't have seven thousand dollars. So, um, one game I don't know if any of you guys played. I try played on the PS4 a lot, and it's an exclusive. Is Bloodborne? Yeah, I, think, uh, I never played it. I didn't play any of the Born games, like the Bloodborne, Bo- Soulsborns and Souls, no Dark yeah. Souls. Yeah. Uh, see, I like those kind of games, so I've been yeah. So um, I've been playing I those. Got, the only other game I have on this list, really, like I have other games I played, but I don't know if they were list worthy. Uh, Resident Evil Seven, because it, it it completely changed the way that Resident like we Resident Evil's never been like a, a first person a, a first person horror survival game. It's always been more of like a action horror game. <laughs> I have a fly in my face. I got a fruit fly flying around too. 
Yeah, so uh, I would I would agree with that. A uh, game I played a lot of multiplayer on the PS4 was Battlefield One. Yeah, well, if you're gonna go, I played I, I've played every Battlefield since 360. Uh, Battlefield One was really that good. Would be me, me and Cod. So yeah. um, Battlefield yeah. Five. Five was good. Battlefield Hardline is one of the worst games I ever played in my life. Um, but I did play that on the Xbox One. Yeah, that was Battlefield before Five I... had a really good campaign. Yeah. For me, it would be Battlefield Black Ops One. Was, I, Battlefield One yeah. is one of the highest rated games on PS4. Yes, and that's why I played a lot of multiplayer on that one. Buddy, okay. uh, what do okay. you got? All right. So um, next for me is Destiny One and Two. Um, I was obsessed with Destiny One. I went all the way through. And the Destiny Two, I kind of stopped middle ways, but just because of Fortnite. So I will put that out there. Um, and then just stop me because you guys have probably a, a, a few more and I don't want to consume it. But the next for me is Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11. Um, I don't have any more, but yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just, I'll just jot. Well, I want, what? I'll say one. Uh, Street Fighter. Uh, Street four. Fighter 5. That was next. Street Fighter 5. Five. Yep. No, that was my I, next don't, one. I don't do no Mortal Kombat. That was good. I also had Tekken. Um, <sighs> Oh, Tekken, Tekken Seven, yeah, yeah, Tekken Seven, yeah, Tekken Seven. That was a really good one. Uh, like I played a few games. Destiny Two, I played a lot. I never played Destiny One. I played oh, Destiny I played Two a lot. Yeah. I was fully engrossed in the game, and then everyone just stopped playing it. And and like to this day, I'm still hearing from the the people who do play. Oh, they released another thing, and I'm like, bro, thank God I quit that game. They're still like yeah, they are patches for a, for a game. Like, I, I I'm already consumer Fortnite because it's part of my job i guess you could say so i can't really go back and do destiny I, there's too much to, you got to pick one or the other if you're going to consume yourself yeah. one game not franchise and fortnite's paying me De destiny wasn't so there you go well, there you go and uh, plus plus fortnite has marvel dc you don't have that stuff in destiny you know what i mean so no you got um, peter dinklage who is replaced by nolan north exactly exactly Deadpool, if you think about the game, but anyway, it's another thing. Well, I can I can count I'm that not. too. Deadpool, but I had Deadpool on. I, I played it on. I PS3 played that, first, but I played that on the PS3. But I have four and three, so I thought, but, 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 yeah. So, um, and, uh, go ahead. Okay, so the other ones I have the Surgeon Simulator. Um, I, my first time on that. I said before Cube, Soma, Fallout Four, and then Overwatch. That's pretty much it. Fallout Four. Uh, most of Bethesda games I played on PC. Um, my last one on this is uh, Monster Hunter World. I played a lot of that on the PS4. I forgot about that game actually. Yeah. That was a good one. That's that's the last one. On oh, and Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to play that unfortunately. Yeah. So those are the those are the last two on my list. But and then uh, Fortnite, which I'm still playing and probably will die playing. I hate saying that, but it's true. <laughs> if it's paying the bills, that's it's not gonna it's not gonna pay the bills forever. So you better discover. Yeah, I'll, well, yeah. I'll, I'll continue to play video games forever, but until Fortnite just drops me from having partnership, then but I got to put it out there. Hey, I'm still playing it, and it started on PS4, so I got to give it love. You know what I mean? But he's gonna be stripping for money soon then. I'll be. I'll find another game, and I'll still make content. I'll go back. If I, I'll, I'll be actually happy to play other games. That's what I'm excited for. When That's right, this. gentlemen. Put your hands together. Welcome the Putty Man. Yeah, put your hands all over that putty goodness. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, George Costanza. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, I'm done. That's right, gentlemen. On that note, thanks again for joining me. And if there's nothing else, we'll see y'all next time.